hi guys welcome back to my channel I am stopping in today uh, to share uh, what I received back in Geneva's juicy fruit swap um, I received my package probably midweek and it has just been a crazy week you know month and I had a lot of <laughs> HR responsibilities, people making me do my job. Um, so it, my week was packed, so I didn't get a chance to open it until this morning. So I've already opened up the box just so that I could hide our addresses. Um, I have not peeked at anything, so let's see who I received. Ooh. And I did watch the reveal videos, but I feel like it's been so long ago, I don't remember <laughs> who these are from. So. This is so cute. So let's take both of them out of the box. Oh my goodness. Strawberries. And I, okay, I can already tell that this is the Scrap Diva die. And I just picked up this mini album die because of this swap. And I think this was around both of them. I'm not sure. Okay, so we'll start with this one. And this one is from gathering jewels youtube and i'm guessing instagram but there's a piece of confetti covering that part all right so let's start with this one and i'm sorry about the crinkling guys uh, where is it where is it oh there it is oh my goodness <laughs> I love this. I love how she added a box um, to the two die cut pieces. That's so smart. Okay. So she got quite a bit in there. And she put a little dangle up here at the top with some wire wrapped beads. That pink strawberry is so cute. Some crackle beads. I use crackle beads in my swap as well. I wonder if this is a die this sentiment I like you very much and then she has a little shaker strawberry here with the little gnome I love my gnomies Kayla's gonna love this when she gets back home and sees it and then what dye is this with the strawberries in the back okay I'm gonna have to <laughs> either go back and watch Geneva's video or um, jump over to her channel hopefully she did um, a project share so I can see, you know, what dyes she used on this. I love that box. Okay, so this is her sequence mix. We had to include a sequence mix. What was it? Two tags, two bows, two bag toppers, and a memory decks card, and then crafter's choice on how you wanted to package it. So she created this cute sequence mix and yeah i'll definitely put this in my stash for future use and then these are her bowls it looks like the strawberry came off of there i don't have my hot glue gun going right now but i can definitely fix that so it looks like the strawberry was the center of this bowl let's see i'm so focused on me seeing it that i'm <laughs> didn't realize the glare may have blocked you guys so yeah so that little bit goes in the center there cute bows we put this back in the bag so that I don't lose that little strawberry piece I love how we all have so many different bow dies oh this is so cute okay this is a bow bag topper and I I think I had this in my cart on Amazon I can't remember if it's KS craft or ZF party maybe but it looks like they're both the same so this is her bag topper so cute put this back in here
let me just put everything back in the box Ooh, and it stands up okay wow is this one of her tags oh my god this is one of her tags <laughs> So she did a shaker um, with this little drink with the umbrella <laughs> and the umbrella was damaged in shipping. I can put some more cardstock behind that to sturdy it up. It's so cute. She put diamond dots on the straw. She hung a little dangle, a little lemonade with the strawberry and some wire wrap beads up at the top. Another one of those cute strawberries. Okay, this has to be a die. I need to know what die set that is. <laughs> so I'm definitely jumping over to her channel. And then it looks like she has a layered lemonade die cut back here. And one of those Tim Holtz rosettes and another one of those strawberries. And she used some yellow glitter paper. Um, that's cute. I love this. All right. And looks like this is her other tag. This is a cute bag. This comes from Daiso. We don't have Daiso in Florida. And my intention was to get to the Daiso out in Vegas when I went to visit uh, my brother last month. Um, and I just, I never made it. I never made it over there. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Okay. So this is her other tag I'm guessing so pops open and you can write your to from or a little note to the recipient on there this is so cute I have this die but Kayla is mainly the one that uses it I don't think I've ever used it and she's used it a few times to make shakers that is so cute I love the sequence mix in here she has some orange slices some grapefruit some raspberries so cute And it looks like she gifted us some of the clay bits. So I will add this to my collection. I wonder where she found. Okay, I definitely got to go watch her video. <laughs> where she found a little small container like this. Because all I could find was the huge one. And it'll take me forever. I need to start gifting some of those clay bits out. Alright, so that to the side and we still have more and she has the girl gnome oh <laughs> yeah okay let me just open it up um i think i have this uh oh, i think i have this die uh okay again chaos crafters yeah party but i love this look at a little sunflower Lots of paper piecing. This is very time consuming, I know, because I love my gnomes and I'm putting them together all the time. So this is lots of paper piecing. Lots of love went into creating this pocket. So cute. All right. So it looks like she has the bags that go with her bag toppers. And she gave plenty. So thank you for gifting us these bags because, again, I don't have a Daiso. And she gave us a lemon shaker die. I don't think I have one like this. I have like the whole lemon and I have like a lemon slice, but I don't think I have that shape. Oh, okay. Okay, so maybe the popsicle was an extra because this looks like her other tag. So cute. I love the sequence mix. And she used a different mix in every one of her shakers. Wow. And this flower is super laid up and layered up. And she used seed beads as the center. So cute. 
And then this looks like her memory dex card. And so I'm trying to hurry up and record this before my son's game. Oh my God. I just looked over. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is her memory dex card and she has fresh picked and some strawberries in a bowl. And again, another sequins mix. Girl, you were busy with all the different mixes. I love this. The super layered up bow. And the mason jar. And she looks like she used foam for her shaker. This is so cute. I have so many mason jar dies. I wonder which one this is. Not that I need another one. Um, I wonder if this is the Scrap Diva one. Not sure. So cute. I love this. And then here's the pocket. I love this pocket. I, I, I gotta find mine. I don't know where I put it. Okay, so in my excitement, apparently I slung this to the side. So I'm wondering where she got that die. And she gifted us the die. She gifted us two dies. Girl, you were super, super generous um, in your swap. Let's see, does it say who this is from? No. But I love this. I do not have a strawberry dye this scale with um, these leaves. So pretty. So thank you so much again. Here is her uh, IG and YouTube. It's Gathering Jewels on both IG and YouTube. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Moving on to the next one. Sorry, this confetti is sticking to my mat. All right, so looks like this one is embellished by Deborah. Deborah, is that Zaga? On Instagram. And sorry about the crinkling, guys. And she, she put her swap in one of these berry baskets. This is so cute. I have the small ones that I picked up from Hobby Lobby on clearance. I want to say it was after Easter because they're like pink, purple, and green, I think. Um, and I thought about using them for my swap, but then I went with the lemon theme and decided to do something else. But I love how she decorated this and then she tied it up so cute. Oh, this is, I've never seen that little strawberry charm before. Y'all see that? So cute. A berry bead and a clasp. So, let's see if I can slide this off. And she has it all contained in there. Some shred. Kayla's not here with me <laughs> to pick up my shred and go put it in a baggie for me. So I guess I got to do that part myself today. <laughs> I'm going to take everything out. Man, this little basket held a lot of stuff. All right, put that back in there until I can get a baggie to put it in. Okay, so like these are her bag toppers and she put them in these cute little iridescent pink bags and it looks like that um the same bag topper that my other swap partner used okay so it looks like she layered hers on top of a bag topper on a bag topper that's a cute idea so she has these bananas i don't know what paper line that is uh, with the bananas on it but it looks like she used a banana puffy sticker a sweet sentiment and then this flat bag that has like gold flakes in it that's cute I wonder where she got that from um, and then this looks like some of the Cricut paper <laughs> y'all I have three packs of that Cricut paper and I've only used it once <laughs> because it is so expensive now I'm so scared to use it up um, because I don't want to buy, I don't, I don't want to pay 20 plus dollars for another pack of it, 
but I digress. So that's the bag that she included with her bag topper. And then this is the second bag topper. So this one looks like a lemon wedge. She used one of the little, uh, I don't know, it, it's a pom-pom, but it has like the little iridescent pieces sticking out of it. Another one of those clear um, drops over there. Cute sequins mix in there. Looks like she has some diamond dots, some uh, lemon clay pieces in there as well and some iridescent glitter pieces in there cute all right i do not remember seeing this reveal like at all i, I don't remember seeing this i'm telling you maybe i missed a video but this is her memory dex card and I love the bag topper. It looks like she used a label die and folded it over. And I do that a lot with bag toppers. I, they're not necessarily bag toppers. Um, so this is a cute idea. And she didn't attach it. So I can reuse this bag topper and the bag. So I got three bag toppers from her. <laughs> This is cute with a little mini tassel and a cherry hanging off. It looks like that's a paper clip that she put under there. Cute. All right. So the memory dex card is a shaker pineapple. This is so cute. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Like, what did she use? This reminds me of something that I would find in like TJ Maxx or Home Goods. I'm always looking at their um, party decor and this is what this reminds me of and she just used it to make her own and it's pineapple clay pieces <laughs> in there are her shaker that is so cute. I have not seen this. And then she used the sweet sentiment and she used the um, the shabby uh, ruffle die from chaos craft behind it put sweet on there pineapple puffy sticker cute and then this oval that she used uh, to frame um, the shaker portion that is cute and this looks like some more of that Cricut paper I'll have to write her name on the back of this before I put it in my memory dex card holder that is cute that's very different I haven't seen anything like that and then these look like her tags and she backed it on a piece of paper and she didn't tack it down so I can reuse that and then her tags look like some cut aparts and she put some trim down at the bottom um, a watermelon uh, layered sticker with a clear dew drop on it and used her tiny attacher to attach that die cut piece on there and use some seam binding and then here is a lemon pocket yep it's a pocket a lemon pocket tag and she did some stitching with gold thread I use that stitch as well I love that stitch <laughs> especially with the gold thread says you are my sunshine she used a pom-pom for the center of the flower here and added a lemon puffy sticker up there and some more seam binding all right and these are her bows again another bag topper that I can reuse that's cute that little uh, strawberry clip I don't have any fruit shaped clips I was looking for some for this swap and I couldn't find any and then this doily wonder if she has a die that cut that out all right so let's see these are her bowls wow I don't do I have I don't know if I have that die <laughs> it looks like she used um, a strawberry applique as the center 
on this one and then on this one she used a pink strawberry applique as the center cute cute bows this looks like the paper pad from Michaels because again when I was planning on what to make for this swap I went through my stash and I think this is one of the papers out of that paper pad I think it was a hot by paper pad all right so let's see what's in here oh this is her sequence mix and she has all kinds of clay pieces in there the fruit clay slices um, along with some regular sequins some cupped sequins so this would be a great sugar mix to use like when you're using this sort of paper that has a mix of the fruits in it this is definitely a go-to and the bag is so cute this little canvas bag that she put it in so that is what I received back for Geneva's uh, juicy fruit swap 2023 I love everything that I received I hope um, the people that have received my swap love what I sent I have not seen any reveals um, with my swap entry so I'm not sure but I, again I've been busy so I haven't been <laughs> looking a whole lot um, but I do know that I have not been tagged in anything so we'll see who received my swap I'm very happy with what I received I'm gonna take some pictures to share on Instagram and I hope you guys have a great upcoming week and enjoy what is left of your weekend bye